Welcome back to Darkfall Ghost Vigil. At the end of the last episode, we just discovered that we can come out of the attic and actually just go back to the yard. So let's go do that. I'm also thinking that the time that was on that clock, remember that clock up in the attic that you could look at real close? Thought, hey, if it's stuck on a particular time, it must be a password to something. You know, being an adventure game and all that. I took a screenshot of that. I believe the time on it is 11.50. So I'm thinking that might be the password to... Uh, it could be the password to one of the um, electric keypads on the greenhouse and on some other door back there. Also could potentially be the combination to the padlock also. So I want to try that stuff. Oh no. No, no, no. I don't like that. Uh, do not like looking in windows. It's like a looks like a chemistry lab. By the way, I don't think I've ever tried using this. Ugh. Oops. No, I want to look in the window again. That didn't really help at all. So yeah, there's a keypad somewhere here. Where the heck is it? Ah, forget it. <laughs> Sure, we'll get electrical signals from here. No? No electrical signals in this pile of electronics. Okay. Shangri-La Library. Looks like a little chicken coop, maybe? Would that be a chicken coop? I feel like it's probably for, I don't know, storing wood or something. God, we can look in here too. Do not like it. I don't know what they were. That sounded like a little girl, maybe. Meadows showroom. Luxury student accommodation. such a violent shake when we try to open it. It's like there's an earthquake. Some text there. Should keep an eye out for passwords or something. 
I don't see anything like that, though. For a night vision camera, it really doesn't make anything brighter at all. Shangri-La. In 1968, Shangri-La Children's Home was created to provide warmth and care for those in need. It is hard to imagine it accomplished that goal. It was home to many generations of unfortunates spurned by their families or orphaned by circumstance. Based in Harwood House, the place was already in bad condition, with old-fashioned rooms and fittings. It was a place to dump people, children, who society had no care for, or no need to care. There was never any need to leave Shangri-La, so many didn't bother. They ate, learned and played within these walls for more years than they would care to remember. A few got lucky, going into foster care, and in some cases, even adoption, but not all. Some of the children at Shangri-La are rumoured to have spent their entire lives here until it was closed in 1984. Do some still haunt the old dorms and day rooms? Yes. Attic rooms. The last dusty attic room is as it was when the last inhabitant left. It is a time capsule from 1984 when Shangri-La Children's Home was shut down. The attic bedrooms are cramped spaces but offered a private refuge for the servants to Lord Harwood as well as the resident teacher of Shangri-La over 200 years later. This room contains a spirit board experiment. We can, we can go down the slide. Oh, I love this. That's so silly. What if there's an achievement for sliding down it a certain number of times? I'll do it once more. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. like this infinite slow pan. Well, I guess it's technically not a pan, but you know what I mean. off now. Wait, didn't add an audio file? I heard a bling noise though. What's new? Is it new new chat or something? I know there's questions we could ask there if I'm stuck, but I don't feel like I'm stuck yet.
Yeah, it's a children's voice, just saying one, two, three, four, five. Probably related to the hopscotch thing, Lois? I doubt that'd be a password. Okay, we just heard giggling on the radio. hearing the sound when we looked at the slide. Here it is actually helping me see. Mushrooms and a toy. I know we already explored out here before, but that was when we didn't have any tools. Now I can search for strange energies. I saw the keypad. It is, like, next to the window? I guess that's not a window. I guess that's a door. Uh, so 11.50 is what the clock said. There's a tiny chance that it's 11.49. Yeah, I'm not really expecting it to work on any of those. I'm thinking maybe the padlock. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, did that say Nightmare Man 84? 1984? Great. This surely is important. I'm going to put this in my notes. Um, could I play it in here? I guess not. Maybe the radio upstairs? I don't know if it was just a radio or if it could play cassettes. Maybe I have to have this out? Nah. Wow. 
still not really sure of the function of this thing. I know it scans for stuff, but... Like, what am I supposed to do with any of the information? Most of the time I can't understand what they're saying. Someone just said, escape visitors. This is probably related to this, but let's try, try 1150. The thing is we can't, we can only move this thing in increments of five. Yeah, this is not possible at all. So that's definitely not the password to that. Uh, yeah, we're getting conflicting info about the house. Any ideas what it was used for in the 80s? In the 80s. Was it still... I think it was still a children's home in the 80s, wasn't it? Yeah, a children's home called Shangri-La. Yeah, all our research points to that. Shangri-La. Good job. I think we should ask our friends some questions. I've got an EVP, what do I do with it? Transfer the recording to the laptop, clean up the audio, work out what the voice is saying. Sometimes you'll hear it fine, other times it's a challenge. Okay, already done that. What should I ask the Ouija board? Look around, find specific things to ask about. Or stick to the usual, anybody there lines. Classic. Jen's right, find definite things to ask about. Thanks. It's true. Our best hits have been through research. I feel like I found a specific thing to ask about. I remember at, at some point, I think the voice told me, like, ask me about something. Actually, I think it was one of the recordings, one of the EVP recordings we have. Oh, hey. Ghost... Box. Find the old playground to the northeast of Harwood House. Conduct a survey using the ghost box. This device is customized, customized analog radio, constantly scanning different frequencies and radio bands. It's thought that ghosts use the radio to communicate using single words or phrases. Okay, well, done. Do a full walk around using the dictaphone voice recorder to capture an example of electronic voice phenomena. Well, we've captured a lot of examples, but apparently not enough. What am I doing with the trigger object? That I don't even know what that is. Place an object on the paper, draw a line around it. If it moves, we'll know. You're looking to find items with some significance. Good objects equal personal items associated with the ghost. And a portrait, something with their face. Murder weapons are a good one too. Not funny, but kind of true. Portrait plus memory item plus death item equals manifestation. Okay, so perhaps that's what the tape is for? Sounds like just one item won't be enough, but it'll be something. Come in. Over. Yeah, I'm getting hits in one of the classrooms. Do you have any info about school subjects? Hmm. 
Well, we looked in and we definitely saw a science lab. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Glad to help. Do you want to take a look around the room again? Greetings from Headington. Is that all of the recordings? Yes, it is. Guys, we made it. Harvard House is ours for the night. Wait, this... Isn't this the... You've just entered for the first time? Dialogue? We've already seen this. Weird. So I guess there's no point in looking for other voice recordings here. If it's been checked off, then there can't be any more. Still need to finish up this. Yeah, have you got any info regarding a name? Who lived up there in the attic? Thomas. Oh, there's many Thomases. I'm thinking either Thomas Hardy or Thomas Harding. Harding? Jen, have you uh, have you got a match on Thomas Harding? Oh. Uh. Wait a second. Yeah, Thomas Harding. He was employed at Shangri-La. Ha, ah, nice work, rookie. Thanks. Come in, over. Man, these people call me too much. Yeah, we're in the office, looking at files. Lots of files. And, uh, yeah, we, we need a date. Something that can confirm the last occupancy. Over. What he means is, who was here at Harwood last? What's the most re what's the most recent date you've encountered in the attic? Oh, fuck. I, I think it was in the 80s. 1984? Yeah, yep. 1984. Seems like the most recent date for occupancy. Got it. Shut down. 1984. Nice one. Good having you along. Maybe they keep talking to me because I keep getting the answers right. Maybe if I just deliberately fuck up, they'll just be like, eh, forget them. Listen, the others are off comms while I swap the walkie back. It's usually me stuck watching the screen. You're doing a great job. But do not touch my moshi noshi noodles. Thank you. Instead, and don't tell the others that's not tea in the flask. Knock yourself out. You've earned it. Uh, yeah, we've, um, we've got a glitch on your cams. Cam 1, the room with the desk. Yeah, uh, what's in the photo frame there? The photo frame. Photo frame. I don't remember there being a photo frame. I remember posters. Postcards of the Scottish Highlands. Uh, two postcards showing ancient philosophers. There are ancient philosophers there. Two photos, Oxford and a thatched country pub. 
Hmm. Two postcards showing ancient philosophers. Yeah, I. Yeah, I thought the camera was playing up. Hey guys, come in. Yep. Okay. Fire away. Okay. I'm all ears. Yeah, we've uh, we've got a lot of cross matching going on. So well done for that. You got a new lead. Uh, yeah. Our new recruit has made a connection. Between what? A guy in the attic? Yeah. Yep. He was a teacher at the school. Shankar La. Again. Yeah, weird. But that's who haunts the attic, we think. Right. Open up the classroom. Let the rookie take a look. Yep, copy. I'll send them there now. Okay, you've got a second investigation space now. The lab. Access is on the ground floor. Exterior, blue doors. Excellent. Did we finish all of our tasks for the first one, though? Did I get all the electrical sources of power? Oh. I did. Um, I, I ended up having to look at a walkthrough. And looking at the things that I had to detect with the EMF, I narrowed it down to being one of the plug sockets, and I think it's this one. I think this is what I forgot to detect. Codes for the lock pads. Science exterior door. Nice. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to find hints to the lock pad passwords in the world. I think they'll just be given to me. 2583. It was the one just like right, oops, right here. Two, five, eight, three. Come in. Over. You've made it inside the lab. Nice one. I can see you on the cams. Give us a wave. Be careful in the lab. It's a health and safety nightmare. Jesus Christ, this place is so fucking cursed. Like, I can feel the curse just coming off in waves. <laughs> Science lab anatomy models. Eerie glowing lights. Okay, well, I think I'm going to save the science lab for the next episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we'll see what's haunting here. <laughs>